The only open wheeled non-contact formula currently racing in any significant number on the ovals are the Grand Prix midgets. Now as an engineer, these little cars have always fascinated me, primarily because whilst the rules for building them are quite carefully defined, they actually leave quite a lot of scope for the home builder to put together something himself. For example, on any grid you'll have both front and rear wheel drive, some of them X Formula 4 chassis, some of them purchased from manufacturers like this one called Dastel. But when you stand next to one of these things, the immediate impression is that they are so tiny. The wheelbase is 82 inches, which is less than six feet, but that makes them incredibly agile. And with fully adjustable suspension and slick tires, the speed they carry into a bend is absolutely incredible. The engines used in Grand Prix Midgets have to be under 1,350 cc. This one's a Ford 1300, but you'll find anything from Volkswagen Beetles to Minis. But the thing about them is they're very highly tuned to give over 100 brake horsepower. And with these light little cars, that gives them an incredible power to rate ratio. Indeed, these little things are some of the fastest motors you'll see on the ovals. But the thing about these little cars is action. And so before we see anything else, let's have a look at them on the track. And now it's time for the Grand Prix Midgets, heat one from then. Very, very different type of motorsport as you can see here. Open wheel racing, very, very small cars, high power to weight ratio as a result. Open wheel. Going for the yellow flag, going for the green flag. You see we have a clutch start and away these little cars rocket. Absolutely tearing round the course, the opposite direction to the stock rods that you just saw. Uh, an early shower there in the Grand Prix Midgets. 22 there is the car of John Hanna from Northampton. Good to see some different cars here. Oh, there's been trouble at the back of the field. Are we going to see a race stoppage? I don't think so, because they're deep into uh, turn two. Great shot from our uh, head-on camera there. As you can see, the cars come barreling down to turn three and four. Number two, Andy Collins from Bedford in one of the larger Grand Prix midget cars there. Open it in different fields. Those of you that have uh, watched motor racing for many years will perhaps recognise the silhouette. Oh, bad spin there, number 66. Won't be at all happy with that. Gary Piper from Staines as the rest of the field comes barrelling past him. Now, don't be uh, taken in by that airing take on Gary Bonner's car. That's not a cartoon car. That's a full-blooded racing car, the form of Grand Prix Midget Racing from Manning Tree, Gary Bonner in 27. Uh, is that 18 or 90? You've got to tell. It's actually Stuart Haynes from East Deerham who's made quite a long journey to be here. We've seen him before. Look out for number 10, Rod Sale, started at the back of the field. There he is, cutting his way through the field and just coming up behind Gordon Pooley from March in the 33 car. I was talking earlier on about the sizes of cars. Different cars are allowed into this class, and if you are a long-term uh, motorsport watcher, you perhaps remember the days of the old Van Wall Formula One cars and the ERAs. These are cars built on very much the same sort of silhouette, but built in with huge roll cages to protect the drivers, uh, because as you can see, when these cars tangle wheels, all hell breaks loose. Now, talking of all hell breaking loose, there's a right old scrap going on there at the front of the field. 33, Gordon Pooley, and Rob Sale in number 10. Now, that's not scrapping for the front of the field. That's scrapping for about third position. That's the state of the competitive racing that we have at the International Raceway Stadium. Number 27 going through there, Gary Bonner in the white and red car. Is he going to get the win? Checkered flags out. Yes, he does. Gets the win. 